Hey, there's clearly a corridor, guys. Come on. The rookies are trying to come in and make a difference and show that, like, they're Superman. Cut it out. Go back to your dorms. The rookies, the new guys, they want to pop their chest out and walk around like they're bad. They want to have something to prove, you know? There's being disrespectful, and then there's doing your job. There's being a man and being a CEO or whatever, and then there's being a Right now, the up-and-coming is, is the Bucanos. Their numbers are growing. They're constantly recruiting. A lot of people automatically assume that your leadership are the most dangerous ones that you have to watch out for, when in reality, it's your lower gang member who is trying to build that name for himself so he can work up the ranks. Those are the most volatile and, and dangerous inmates you have. Hey, clear that doorway. The inmate Miras and all his little friends, they've just been messing around all day. Little man, little man. Back to your dorms if you ain't using the restroom. Getting under our skin a little bit. Come on. Thank you. Let's go to that doorway. At least you know. At least you know. That's why you're in your pod. Right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Right here. Dude, we're gonna have to freaking ride him up, bro. Hey! We're gonna have to ride him up, dude. He keeps freaking horse playing. Rookie officers, they don't understand the way the gangs think or how they operate on a day-to-day -day basis. Because they're gonna test him, they're gonna taunt him. It's they they know he's green. I'm gonna pull Midas out, bro. He's pissing me off. <laughs> Not your sidekick, just you. Huh? Let's go to the corridor. What's your problem, bro? Oh, you. <laughs> what do you mean, what's my problem? Why are you acting like that? You, you need to check your attitude. Day. You don't do this every day. Check my you don't do this check every day. Then. You want me to you check your attitude? Call me on here and just talk uh, you, want you want me to write you up on some shit? You gotta do. All right. Do your job. I am gonna do my job. How are you gonna call me on here and try to talk to me, homeboy? You better stop back. You better stop. You better step back. You're pulling me on here in front of you. Cuff up. You're pulling me on here. Cuff up. Cuff up. You're pulling me on. Cuff here. up. Oh, man. Cuff up. Stop resisting. Oh, he keeps resisting, don't possess. Let's go. I got him, bro. That's actually the first time I've ever had an altercation with an inmate. So yeah, I mean, I was getting a little worked up because I, I didn't really know how I was going to react because I thought he was going to swing on me or something because he did take an aggressive stance. With these guys, you never know. They could have weapons on them. Every situation like that may be a life or death situation. There's no room for mistakes. My adrenaline is pumping pretty a, a lot right now. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah. <laughs> Hey, D'Angelo. How's it going? Uh, you can have a seat. I just want to talk to you about the incident. I, I kind of, like, froze for a second because it was my first incident like that with an inmate. I feel like I might have gave him too many chances compared to like any of you guys, so I, I think that's what I could do differently next time. What I think could have happened a little differently, if he comes, steps, takes a step for, forward, immediately you put the hand out, go to your OC spray, hands on a second, okay? Okay, cool, okay, thank you. <clears throat> In the academy, they told us how to handle use of force. When you're actually in a confrontation with an inmate where your blood is flowing and your adrenaline's pumping, it's kind of hard to do exactly by the book. In the heat of the moment, you just kind of revert to what you know. Are you gonna take me seriously? Hey, I look like I'm 12 years old. My biggest fear is not going home to my wife. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to go face your fear. Put the weapon down! That's what we do every day. 